We are gonna go to New York. Excuse me? Was you followed? <sighs> I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. Today is the day they are going to hang Como O'Driscoll. Welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption, guys. In the previous episode, one of the most amazing things that we ever did in this game was the mission to save John. It was really cool. You guys have been telling me that say these quests are really amazing. I didn't believe you, but now I do. <laughs> we also went on a mission with Micah and Dutch. Dutch suddenly went crazy and killed Cornwall. Arthur was so shocked. He didn't know what to do. He just had to go with the flow. And I can tell that he's really angry and aghast at the same time. He doesn't know what to do. And I, I feel like he doesn't care anymore. I'm just happy that in his last days, he is kind of finding new friends, people that he really, he truly can call friends, like Hamish, like Charlotte, like the nun. I'm really sad that uh, he is probably gonna die. He is one of my most favorite characters in games overall. I, maybe he's my number one. But I'm really happy that he is uh, trying to spend his last days like this and just having fun with Hamish or, you know, just, you know what I mean. I, I'm sure you can tell what I mean. Okay, without any further ado, let's go, guys. Yeah, guys, by the way, the other day I found this tiny church. I don't know if there is some kind of a quest related to this one. But please let me know if there is anything or if, if it's just an easter egg probably, I don't know, but it's really cute. I love it. She was having fun. <laughs> oh, Hamish she's calling me. Hamish she's calling me. Hamish, oh my god, you're so far away, Hamish. Why? Let's go to Annisburg, guys. New journal entry. Let's let's see. Look. Saw the two strange boys and the girl they claimed to love once again. This time it was real strange. I mean, it was strange before, but this time it was, well, real strange. They got me to push them off a waterfall in a barrel. They both somehow survived. Just about. But then they turned on the girl and went off together like two happy peas in a pot. Not sure what to think about the whole business. Crazy assholes. Let's go to Hamish, guys. Let's go to Hamish. Oh, he's here again. What you doing here again? Hello. Help the blind. I can't help, help you. A blind man. Okay. Okay, here you are. Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. Oh. Right, friend. Anything else? I don't think so. Sure, sure. Guys, uh, other than searching for the bones, I was also trying my best. I've been trying my best to find aigrettes for Algernon quest. But it's a really hard thing to do. Uh, some of you guys were kind enough to show me 
the locations in which I can find these birds. Uh, I've been using those places, but uh, I have to wait for them to respawn. And no matter how many times I uh, load my game again, they don't respawn. Maybe I should give them like two or three days to respawn again. But I'm trying yep. my best to do that, finish that quest too, before I finish the game. Because I kind of feel like the chapter six is the final chapter. Maybe it's a long chapter, but it's definitely final chapter because Arthur is dying Arthur honey aren't you hot just tell me if you're hot <laughs> you don't have to show any reactions nowadays Let's go, guys. Hamish! Hamish! Arthur! Come on in! So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. The she-wolf. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's huh? that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Huh? On a hunch. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Why? I want my rifle. Damn it. Is that the legendary boar? Go that way. Yeah. Let's go. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. The tracks go this way. Come on. Yeah. And fast too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Easy. Giddy up. Mm -hmm. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view.
Oh. He killed a wolf? Oh, let's go with my horse. Let's go. Let's go, girl. I'm just so scared of losing my horse. To the boar? <laughs> hey, Mesh. Who are you, mate? Oh, he down there. Thrown and a bastard hog got me. Is he okay? Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, but he's strong. What do you mean? Is he dying? Arthur! Amish. No, not with this! You got him, old man. Guys. Go away! <laughs> Let's get his... Hi. Can I pick him up? I cannot pick him up? You asshole. Shop, no. You're okay. Oh. Okay. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Easy there. This is so fucking yeah. sad. I'm so sad right now. Are you sure I cannot do anything with his body or? Whoa. Go away. Even the carcasses are coming here. Even do anything with this boar's body. Step. Oh, I have it, some hair. Yeah. You're okay. 
Okay, boy. This is so sad, guys. This is so sad. I, I never thought such thing was gonna happen. Now I'm scared to go to Charlotte. What if something bad happens to her too, but... Yeah. Just when I was saying that I'm so happy for Arthur too. Because he has found some friends, especially Hamish. Well, everyone that Arthur loves is dying, so... <sighs> I'm really sad. But this the funny, one funny thing about this game is... It never gives you time to mourn the characters when they die. The same thing happened with Hosea and Lenny. Immediately after they die, you have to fight, always. By the way, guys, when I was uh, searching for dinosaur bones, I found a little hut in the middle of the uh, forest, somewhere in uh, close to Annisburg, and there was a corpse, a corpse of a lady sitting in a chair in front of the door and there was a painting of her a, po a portrait i think it was of her young days i kind of feel like yeah. she was a very peculiar person <laughs> damn it cougars in this Oh, I saw. Have something to eat. Yeah. There's another wild animal there too. What is that one? Ah, oh, it's a bear. Oh, it's a baby bear. It's not. Oh, oh the cougar is coming. Where? Brother. Get the fuck out of my life. Last time it was you who killed me too, right? It was you. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Here, this is the pelt of the animal which scared you. It's on your back now, honey. <laughs> Charlotte, you alive? You okay? Okay, items. Can I have some? Oh, this. <coughs> Hello. Oh, she's sitting there. She's wearing a fancy my, my. blouse. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh no, I didn't mean no, it. Like I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> I think she so likes how are you Arthur. Up? Ah, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Oh, I told you she likes him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please That's go it. on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. 
I don't want to take... I don't want to take anything from her house. Are you there? I just want to take a look. I'm not taking anything. <laughs> What's that? Is that... Oh! Are those, are those cigarettes? Yes, premium cigarettes. Crackers. Oh. What's this book? Ah, I cannot pick up the book. And what is this? Uh, I, I will take the miracle tonic. Oh, it, is this her bed? I think so. She's had her breakfast here or something. What was that? Why would I take anything from her house? Why did she say that? Health care. Jewelry. No, no, no. Don't do this. I don't want to do this. Charlie, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. So she she's fine, right? She's gonna be fine. Which is great. You okay? Ball, Beal, Beal. Let me pat you. Oh. Poor baby. Lost his owner. Okay. By the way, what, what happens if I... Um, let's go to that tower again, guys. You're alright, boy. <laughs> Maybe I could have given the horse to Charlotte. Maybe she's gonna need it. But I don't think it's possible. What the hell are you playing at? <laughs> There's a gun there. You mean I can't go in? Yes. yes. He's there? Where's your creation now? Artificial intelligence. Why is that though? What is this? What's this? An electric lantern previously owned by Marco Dragic. It's an electric lantern. Oh. But how did he die? I don't think he was electrified because there is blood everywhere. You know, you don't bleed when you're electrified. <laughs> okay. Uh, where is his son though? Maybe, oh guys, maybe the sun killed him. Yeah, probably that's it. I cannot take the notes. What about this note? Oh yes, I can inspect this. Five years, an automaton received funding, win top scientist prize. See here, two automatons make automatons factory. Oh, he wanted to take over the world. <laughs> oh, what is this? Ah, 
house. Fucking hell. Is this blood? I don't think so. It's just a very dirty mattress. Invisible waves, ghost waves, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. This is the boy, his son. Such a pity that he's dead, guys. Even though he was very rude to Arthur, always. But I didn't want him to die. That was sad, actually. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to go back to the camp. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the camp. Uh, I want to leave the... Yep. Leave Hamish, Hamish horse there. Oh, it's so hard. Come on. Come on, Bo. Maybe I will first go to uh, the trapper. Because Cougar's health is pretty pricey, I think. You cannot find many of them in the game. Let's... Can I use... Um, this is not the light that we took from Professor Dragi, is it? I don't feel like it's... Alright guys, let's go to the trapper. He's here. Let's sell the cougar's okay, pelt. Let's take a look at it. It is. Five dollars is not bad. Do you have anything Nothing new for quite me like to buy? Your best day's work. I don't think so. I hate these hats. I can't craft this. I've run huh. this stall all the way from here to the border. Uh, I can craft this with the cougar's pelt. Okay. Yeah, let's craft this. Why not? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Now let's go to the camp, guys. And after that, I want to go to Reverend Swanson. He has a quest for me. That's the first. Yeah. I'm happy that he's a changed man. Everybody is depressed except for Reverend Swanson. And it's because of the nun. I think it's the nun from San Denis that he talked to. Easy. Oh, guys, I found a treasure in the chimney there. So, I know. There is a treasure in that chimney. Murphy. Assholes. Murphy country. I'm not gonna sell Hamish horse, guys. He 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 wouldn't want that. Let's hitch him. Where is my own baby? Where did the hitch option go? Shush, shush, shush. Yeah, yeah, hitch horse. 
Fucking nice. Yes, we are, John. Even before Blackwater, I had my doubts, but since then, we've had folk drop like flies. Yeah. It's all Michael's fault. I've been with for years, just dead. Gone. Women and children, too. This ain't <laughs> nothing nice. Whole thing used to make some kind of sense, but now it feels like. We're waiting on a miracle or waiting to die, and I can't tell which it is. I mean, we've always had problems, but never like this. Yeah. Them folks in Blackwater, they was real mad. And we responded like animals. Like cornered animals. And all of a sudden, Things don't make much sense no more. Guys, look at we the Duchess Shadow. What we set out to hate. And it scares me. Dutch is coming out? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Well, I should get my beauty sleep. Let's sleep, guys. Hat go. Guys, I think I lost a Hamish hat. Please let me know if I've lost it or not. I, I wish not because I really liked it. Okay, let's see what he got to say. Arthur, you want some uh, breakfast? Have some of this. <coughs> Hello, Swanson, what's Raven? up? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? No. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes. Very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. I thought it was a Swanson quest. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we Why? disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Is that Eagle Flies? Hello. No. Hello. Dutch. Yes, it is. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar. 
and a murderer. These people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting uh -huh. out of hand. Yes, I of guess. course. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. These bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends uh... today. You have my word on that. Well, Dutch is emotional, like always. But as Arthur said, if we just we just could have given them horses. But maybe they want 50 horses. We don't have 50 horses. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. We can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I guess so. We have to stick together. Now more than ever. Alone, they'll pick us off. We wouldn't last five minutes out there. Not you, not me, not any of us. Well, what if they figure out that we have been helping the Indians? There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Okay. Let's head out. So we are just going to free the horses, right? No need to kill anybody, they said.
We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. I hope so. I'm recording, right? Yes, I'm sorry. Arthur! Sit down! Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue the soldiers. How? Ah, oh, stealth knockout. Okay. <gasps> Arthur, you killed him though. Is anybody up there? Because if I go down there the one upstairs is going to see me I'm gonna go smoke all right be back in a bit Dodge Horses. Where are the horses? I'm in. Oh fuck, that's crazy. We can go higher than that. Damn it, no, I'm out. Okay, I have to go down. are here. What should we do, Eagle Flies? But they're going to see me. <laughs> what if I go the other way? There's no way. I think I'm gonna have to kill them. I think Arthur killed the two the two others. Shit, what should I do? Okay, I thought we weren't supposed to kill anybody. But it looks like it was the only way. We need to do something about that anchor, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Plant dynamite? You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. Come on, Arthur. Pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. 
He's so fast. Oh, we are good. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Nope. too deep. It's good. horses there yep. we could have given them the six horses but okay we, we need commotion real good oh seems like uncle sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us so it goes my father doesn't want to fight again will one of you help me return the horses to my men well arthur w oh arthur needs to rest huh? i will I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Don't help her. Help! 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 Sure. Oh. I'll speak to <laughs> him. You head on back to camp. Check on the others. Dutch's behavior is... Crazy. Thank you, Arthur. A rage unleashed. Okay, so Dutch told us to see them at the tavern about coal. Oh, okay, nice. Rainfalls is in the reservation. You remember somewhere in one of the previous episodes, I went there. They were pretty mean. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird, Dutch wanted to do it himself he wanted to take the horses with eagle flies to the camp probably because he doesn't trust arthur anymore that's why <coughs> like a fire and now please sleep Till noon, why not? Okay, here we go. Can I access the map here? I can do Micah's quest now that I'm here. Yeah, we can go to Micah. 
He's here. Give me a second, guys. I have to pee. Okay, guys. Back. Okay, guys, here we are. And before going into this quest, I want to say that I hope that Dutch doesn't get Eagle Flies killed. And Eagle Fly, yeah. he has a hot temper. He's going against his father. Hello, Micah Belly. <laughs> ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> He's not worth it. Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You Are you sure? Senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. Even oh, Bill is not Rob sure. Stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You oh. boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> Right, let's go. God, please give me some patience. Please. What is this? Is this Bill? What are you doing here, Bill? Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> Apparently, I'm becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Damn. Pink Hunters on are here, and we are going to blow up a bridge. <laughs> That's a very wise move to do. Arthur, why don't you just leave the fucking gang and bring John and Abby and take okay. John, Abigail, and Jack Let's with you, up here. and Karen oh. and Mary Beth. So. Wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg, and it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, you go I'm the play dead, shot, and you—you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now. I think it'll be quite the show. <laughs> How am I supposed to go up there? Oh, okay. You 
this place. These people. Move, you wicked! Move! Oh, fuck. Come on, let's get you out of. Oh, he there. Can we please come out of this sh Okay. I know I was supposed to use the rifle, but yeah. And before any of you comment anything, I know how to use the dead eye. I know how to use the tag in the dead eye. Oi, 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 oi. I'm just more comfortable like this. Come on. We need to get out of here. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Sit down, Arthur. Let's get going. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice truck playing. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Yeah, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Deal with them, Arthur! Okay, I'm trying! Quick! Okay. Oh fucking ah! Witness. We are getting witnesses. Behind us? Did you just... Next to the dynamites, put it, put the wagon on the bridge and blow the bridge and my car together. Not at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Son. Oh. Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But yes, I you am are. a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said. Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. 
There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Arthur, just kill him and tell lie to Dodge that he died. Why can't you just do that? Ooh, okay. Where should we go now? Okay, so it's probably one of those quests that is going to show up in two or three days. Oh, no, no maybe uh, we have to do Sadie's quest first. Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hello? Miss Grimshaw is wearing something colorful, finally. Tough times, Mr. Morgan. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Yes, yes. She seems a little bit happier. Maybe... She and Pearson are together now. Bill. Hello, Abigail. Dutch went and killed Cornwall in Annisburg. This will be bad, John. Shit. Don't worry about him, Abigail. Talking to me about loyalty. Bill don't want to see the truth, that's all. Yeah, that's all. He knows. I could tell by his face when we were doing Micah's quest. What is, what is Jack doing there? Jack, what are you doing, honey? Don't, don't get too close to Micah. Hey, kid, the dog is gone. You can be quiet now. He'll, yeah. he'll come back. Hey, get oh, he lost his come. dog. Come here, Jack. No, don't go to him. The dog ain't coming back. Hmm? Hmm. Now get lost. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a creature are you? What the hell did you do to the dog? Must have run away, dumb mutt. You bastard. Did you done animal husbandry? You asshole! Oh, I want to beat his fucking ass on... Shit! I've never in my life wanted to beat someone so bad. Fast fucking travel to the uh, Vapisi Indian Reservation, please. Just take me out of here. Okay, here we go. Rain falls. Where are you? Your son is... Okay, okay. Is listening to Dodge. No, no, no. I'm uh, holding it. Hold. What is wrong? Okay, I cannot even open my satchel here. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe there's a bog or something. I don't know. No, it doesn't work. Mister? Why have you come here? I want to talk to your... Chief. Rainfalls? You seen that? Yeah, I think he is. Uh, hello? Nice. I always I'm wanted here. to get in one of these. This is so cozy. You don't sound very well. It's because of the smoke of the fire. I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. 
I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. <laughs> I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. Shit. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Yes, of course. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. I will. In front of you. Okay, sir. Anyway, <laughs> gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. See you both soon. Okay, sure. bye. Thank you, Captain. You are a good Enjoy man. Time. We'll continue on this way. Sure. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. So often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Oh. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh, that was that a test? You can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Eagle flies. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well, 
You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. And this ain't easy to say, but... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. What plant are you looking for? Should I go with him? No. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Why well, why do you need it? You want to help Arthur okay. for his cough? Let's continue on. So you were saying... I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. Me so neither. what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, Arthur's I son? had a son once. What? Years ago. Don't talk what? about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. I'm sorry, guys. I have to change. She was, to... too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid. 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two uh. crosses outside. And they <gasps> ran away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. What? Shot him dead. Offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Oh my god, Arthur, I didn't know you had a son. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Okay. This will combine well. Wait there. <laughs> I'll put these in your saddlebag. Thank you. You're cold, Rain Falls. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Aww. Thank All you. Alright, let's go. It's not much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but Aww. some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. I hope so. Every time I can only ask one of the questions. Are you okay? You are not cold or anything? 
Thank you. Oh, I still cannot ask him any more questions. It's just up ahead. Sure. What's happened? No. It can't what? What happened? What happened? Need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Oh Someone who want to do enrage you. It's Dutch or Micah. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. Oh. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Oh my God, he's so broken. Damn. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. It is... I don't know why I feel like this was Dutch's and Micah's doing. They want to do something to make Rainfalls angry. Hey, I found some. They want this war to happen. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Tanupa. Is, 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 is it this one? No. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Is that the only one? No, there are more. Look there. Smoke. Coming. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Yes, of course. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're These too drunk. Brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. Oh, they okay. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But. But I hope we were past this. We ain't got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. Mm. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No, oh, I'm really sorry for you. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Yeah. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Get your chin up and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Of course. Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, it doesn't I don't matter. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Huh? I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. You said you were going to look for the Chinumpa. Yes. Oh 
Come here, baby. Are you not going down there? Yes, I'm going. Shit, this is going to be so hard to sneak, guys. How should I go about it though? Okay, okay. The thing I know is that I should not... Okay. Flee, flee. Flee. We should not... We should not get close to the horses. They're gonna get spooked. Attack me. He looks like. He looks like he wants to attack me. I knew that. Ah! That man is facing this side. Shit. How can I distract him? Dog too? Where is that thingy anyway? Ah, oh, it's somewhere in the uh, yellow circle. I have to find it. Ice gun oil. Sit down, Arthur. What's that? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. One of them is coming. Holy fuck. Arthur, why are you moving? <laughs> Yeah, it was nothing. Where are you going now? What is here? was asleep.
there is no way I cannot kill them, you know? Ah, oh, there's a chest there. Maybe it's in the fucking chest. I have to kill them. What happens if I drop one of my... Huh? Fuck. Shit. Us. Must be imagining thing. Yeah. Shit, this guy is going to see me, but he doesn't. Okay, whatever, guys, whatever. I'm just going for it, okay? I have to get through there. Damn it. Good. Fuck you. <laughs> What's that? Hey, I heard something. No, no, you heard nothing. You heard nothing, bitch. Yeah, I the, I failed the mission because I probably should go via this road. You know? I did it. I did it, sneaky. I did it, sneaky assholes. Rainfalls, I'm here. I am. Don't worry about it. I got Please your stuff. You found it. Here, I, uh, I got your things. I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No. No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. <sighs> Morons. What's happening? He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise mm -hmm. and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. I agree. Mm. 
Nice. Permanently reduce health, stamina, and dead eye core drain speed. Ah, <laughs> by 15%. Nice. Thank you. Let's go to the captain. You all right, girl? His quest is yeah. on the map and... Come on. Oh, also, what? wait, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, okay, okay. This is the bridge mission. Okay, never yeah. mind. I'm gonna do this first. Uh, this Captain Monroe quest. Morning. Why do you come here? I thought that maybe they are nice with me now. Hello. Here I am as promised. Oh, he's sick. Oh, yeah, they don't have any Captain medicine. Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favor seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say <sighs> he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Oh, he wants Is to redeem himself think? this way? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's uh -huh. been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Arthur is okay. angry. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Arthur is angry. So this Colonel Fate, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. Mm -hmm. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Oh. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's what is he? Is he 10 years region. old? The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know... Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. Mm. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Especially one who has rarely seen failure in his life. This captain is so nice. He sees the best in everybody. Right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's go up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Easy. Easy. 
Here? Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Why are we on the high ground? You you told me not to shoot them. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. <laughs> I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. How? Get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Shit, guys. Yeah. I don't want to be detected, guys. Am I supposed to open these fuckers? Oh, it's here, it's here. Search. News, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not. Oh no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Nice. Oof. Okay. Uh, now we can go to John. Okay, we, I can open my journal now. Let's see what is that. Uh, we already read this. 
Hamish died. He was hunting boar and the boar won, at least against him. I liked him, but more than that, I admired him. He lacked self-pity and he lacked confusion about his place in the world. He was the man we would all want to be if we weren't so distracted being idiots. He gave me Bill, his moody, magnificent horse to look after. Yeah. Oh, this is... Went back and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. Stolen? Maybe it came out and killed the professor. Saw eagle flies, the ship's son again. Dutch was captivated by him, turning on all his charm and confidence and seeming like a dangerous snake. What is wrong with him? Eagle flies is desperate and angry. The local regiment are tormenting him and goading him into a fight. Now Dutch is uh, in his ear. This will be a disaster. Poor old Karen has taken to the drink something awful. What's their connection? Went to speak to Chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine which helped me a little. He was a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic. And now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Uh. Let's go, girl. Let's go, guys. Let's go to John. Okay. We can change to our normal clothes now, I suppose. Yep. Oh, they're here. John? Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But of course. I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along. I know. Arthur, you shouldn't smoke. <sighs> Killing in cold blood, revenge... We he listened to me. Things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? Me too, man. You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Yeah, man. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. Fuck loyalty. He is not gonna... loyal to you. <laughs> I'll be okay. But do it. For me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Hmm. Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> uh. Yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. John, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. <gasps> All right, stop. 
Here's good. Okay. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. To the right a bit. Oh my god. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Come on. Okay, good. Grab the other one. The other side or the same place? Start lowering it, Arthur. Nice and easy. Okay. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to mm -hmm. the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Hmm. Ah! Be careful, Arthur. This is so stupid. Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Yeah. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. It's better work. Fine. Go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Oh, oh. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? No. I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. 
I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty? It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. <laughs> and Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Uh-oh. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Zaya. Oh, Trilani. Uh, no. I think I want to go to San Denny, actually. Let's go to San Denny. I also want to see if the nun's quest will show up again. Or maybe it was the last time. We are supposed. It was the last time we were supposed to meet her or her brother Dor Dorkins. I just wish I could see brother Dorkins again. Okay, cool. I'm constantly losing weight, no matter how much I eat or anything. Let's. Where it is. Morning, sir. Morning. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's Goodbye, go. Goodbye, dear let's friend. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this. Gendarmerie yes. hat and clothes. Uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised to see how Arthur <laughs> look. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Look at Sadie. That's the weirdest part. Look well, at Sadie. Don't we just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, 
our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis suits you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. So keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. This Don't is we not go? doubt! You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Okay. We're gonna wait. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs uh -huh. boys. Yes, uh? I think so. Why are they laughing? Surprise. I'm glad we're here. Uh-oh. What are they pointing They have a shooter. Oh, they have a shooter. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. She's gonna listen to you. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Mm hmm yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's kill Paul. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. Onto one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Arthur, here's a ladder. Mm -hmm. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Where's the shooter then? He's up there. His things are here. What? Your boss is gonna swing. I'm Show me 
that soft underside. He's good. He's skinnier than I thought you'd be. Talk too much? There goes your escape plan. Be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage. The only way to deal with him just Look at him. He here. My savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered. Torn, is that Colm? Robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches <laughs> up with him. <laughs> yeah, it is cold. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task <laughs> we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen. Bye bye, Cole. Are we ready. Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Say the... Okay. Morgan, you hear ah. Take a shot on these old Driscolls! She told. Got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. <laughs> oh, Arthur. He's still alive, or because some people don't die, some miraculous things happen. Arthur, you look so ugly with this new shit. He <laughs> looks so ugly with this new outfit. <laughs> mm. Be fine. How you get on, Arthur? Well, John. We saw the bastard hang okay, but huh. no thing ain't gonna save us. Yeah. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's Mary. From Mary. Mary. She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Judge much? That's a Indeed, ring. Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. 
I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But oh. when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. Oh. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. Oh. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye. Aww. Mary.